Well, hello, my name is Kim Shukalas. I'm with Network in Action Twin Cities, and I have a very special member I want to introduce to you today. Her name is Brandy Warmbier, and she's with State Farm. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Kim. Thank you so much for taking time today to interview with me and share a little bit about your agency. What inspired you to become an insurance agent? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, my mom was actually an insurance agent when I was younger. So I spent an awful lot of time in her office with her, not really understanding what she did, but it was an environment that I really enjoyed. And so I started working in the insurance industry when I graduated from college. I worked in the claims capacity. So I kind of handled that's to me where the rubber meets the road with insurance, yeah. right? It's you're calling because something bad happened. And I was able to help people through that, which was really fun. And I just wanted to become an agent so that I could be on both sides of that. So, you know, I'm helping you when you have a bad day, but also before that bad day happens, I can get to know you and make sure that you have the right coverage in place before a claim would happen. And so I've been an agent now for about 10 years and it's been a fantastic career. And the other thing I think I love about being an agent or what inspired me is I get to pick my coworkers. So I get to oh. pick my team and who I work with and you don't always get that opportunity. So oh, that's, that's another. Blessing. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It sounds like it's in your DNA. I totally get that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I was really impressed when you talk, you know, just speaking about your team, mm -hmm. the tenure, because I know insurance can be an extremely high, high turnover yeah. Um, industry. So share with me a little bit about your team and their tenure. Sure, sure. Yeah, it can be. It's a challenging position. And I am lucky to have I have three women that work for me. And um, my least tenured person has been with the office for a year. So she just graduated college a year ago and became a full time employee. And my office manager, Michaela, has been with me for over three years. So everyone's kind of within that one to three year range. And it's really nice because we spend a lot of time. I see my team sometimes more than I see my family. And yeah. so having people who show up every day for our customers and our team and really like working together is makes it fun to go to work. Yes, you know, um, reviews don't lie. And I think when your customers are happy, it's a good reflection of how you treat your employees and, and that your team is. Because it really, if you put your priority to your team, it yeah. really does show. And I noticed you had a five-star review. So yeah. that, that's really something to be really proud of. So why would people, you know, there's a lot of insurance agents out there. Why would they pick your agency? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we have, I'm really proud of the fact that we have a 90% retention rate in our office. So as you mentioned that five-star review, mm -hmm. uh, we really want to have a relationship with our customers and try very hard to do so. So I don't want to just know your address and the type of vehicle you have. I want to know what's going on in your life. I want to celebrate those little things with you. Um, we have customers who, you know, will call in and in passing say, my daughter's getting married next month. That's something we remember and we send them a card and we send the daughter a card. And so it's just those little things to let our customers know you're important to us. Yeah. Um, and we also do an awful lot of follow up in our office. So I just this week was able to write um, a household that was referred to me three years ago. And a lot of times people, you know, if they say no the first time, move on, but we stick with you and make sure you're getting what you need. So we really truly care. And I think that comes across as a difference. Good old fashioned fashion customer service. <laughs> I had an insurance agent for a decade. I swear, never met her, never heard from her, got a Christmas card in the mail once a year, never had a check-in, um, never. And I, I really can appreciate the things, the little extra things that really are little, but mean so much that you actually take the time to care and, and develop relationships with your customers. Yeah. That goes to show you why you have a 90% retention rate, which is not easy. There's not a customer loyalty these days, especially with all the technology and things like that. Share with us a little bit about who your ideal customer is. Yeah. So what we focus on pretty heavily in our office as far as products are home insurance, car insurance, and life insurance. So 
really great customers for us. We love to work with first time home buyers. It's a really fun opportunity for us to educate them on the insurance process for the first time, make sure there's no coverage gaps and build that relationship. Um, like we'd mentioned earlier. We also deal a lot with people who are moving from out of state or, you know, just into the cities. There's a lot of people that relocate to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and that's a great opportunity for us to establish a relationship and also help them become part of the community. We love to be a resource for whatever else you're needing, which is why I love networking in action because I have resources that I can give to my customers, which is so great. Um, and then one other kind of unique thing is most people don't know we offer pet insurance. And so pet owners are our ideal customer for sure. All of my team members plus myself have pets. And so it's just, we love to get to know you and your pets and be able to take care of them if something were to happen. So I'd say those three are probably our best. You know, pet insurance, people overlook that. I It hit me really hard one day. I was outside and my neighbor had her a little pet got very sick and it was a very, very, very expensive, expensive vet bill. And yeah. um, she was sharing with me, you know, she was a very educated at a really good job, single gal. So this was like her whole baby. But she said, you know, there's so many people that would have been forced to put her little, their, their, their baby down. Mm -hmm. And, and I went home that day and I'm like, I am signing up to get pet insurance. So I never have to make that decision yeah. I mean, I had to take my dog to a emergency room on New Year's Eve. And if I didn't have pet insurance, that would have been like $600. And, right. you know, I would have probably said, oh, I'm not going to take it to an emergency room on New Year's Eve. I'm going to wait, but that could be detrimental too. So yes. pet insurance, it's really, really important to take a look at it. It's, it seems like it's unnecessary, but it's always, it, trust me, you know, it will, it will, it's well worth it. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's important, you know, even if you're happy with your insurance, um, to always take a look at your policies, our lives change, um, to get a second opinion, to make sure that you are getting, sometimes the cheapest policy isn't the best policy. And so I really encourage people out there, even if you are fairly happy or don't feel like you have a need to at least take a, do a review every once in a while, get a no obligation uh, quote from you and just kind of compare and see if you can save them money or even if you don't necessarily save them money maybe you just can give them more value how how, how often do you think people should do that yeah we typically review with our customers every two to three years yep. depending um but to your point you know as a life change occurs that's something that you know we can go in between that cycle but we always offer, a, you know, a review, no obligations. If And I've sat in front of many people and was able to say, you know, hey, it looks like what you have is good. Here's a couple suggestions that I might make. And, you know, to us, even if we don't win the business, it's, it's an opportunity for us to create a relationship. And so I would be happy to talk with anybody who's interested. Well, I want to thank you so much. Um, you're a valued member of Network in Action. Uh, one of my founding members and I am thrilled to know you and I know you're an amazing person and a great businesswoman and I highly encourage anyone out there to contact you if they have any questions. What is the best way for them to reach you? Yeah, the best way is you can always call our office um, and visit our website. If you just Google Brandy Warm Beer State Farm, that's probably the easiest way to get all of our contact information. Right. Um, but give us a call or you can email me from the website and just let me know that you saw us through Networking in Action and we'll give you a call. Thank you again for being a valued member. Call Brandy today. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Thank you so much.